Thanks for joining us. I'm Gail Pascal brown This car belonging to missing Port Orange teacher Robert Heike, who was last seen October of 2020, has been found in a canal in Volusia County. A body was also found inside. While a positive identification will take some time, the Volusia County Sheriff's Office tells us that authorities have been in contact with Heike's family. West 2's Haley Crumbleholm spoke with the teams which worked to find the car. And Haley, how did they finally find it? So they say they look a lot at where the cell phones ping, where that person was coming from, where they were going. Two volunteer organizations that specialize in underwater searches are who helped. They found the car here off of Pioneer Trail in New Smyrna Beach. He's been missing since uh, October of 2020 and um, unfortunately um, found today. Andrew Gant, public information officer with the Volusia County Sheriff's Office, says volunteer search teams notified their office this afternoon they had found a car in New Smyrna Beach and matched the tags with those on Robert Heike's car. Recon Dive Recovery and Sunshine State Sonar were the two volunteer groups that worked to find it. Yeah, just coming around the corner, we were walking down and, and looked to the left, and I saw what looked like the roof of a vehicle sticking, protruding from the water, and I just yelled to Ken, I'm like, I think we got him. It's been three years, guys. The groups look at where a person was leaving from and heading to and where their cell phone last pinged to determine bodies of water to search. They've been working to find Robert Heike since October of 2022. They had sent us to Orlando to check a possible foul play. Uh, we did 40 ponds in 12 yeah. hours in the middle of night, 9 a.m. or 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. Yeah. and knocked out, you know, 40, 40 bodies of water, ruled that ruled out the foul play aspect out of Orlando and started focusing back on this area. They say the spot in New Smyrna Beach where Heike's car was found is just a few miles from his home. It just feels so good to, to give these families answers. I would never say it's closure because there's never closure for a family that loses someone like this. It's answers. It's answers to what happened to, um, you know, what happened to their loved one. Now, again, the Volusia County Sheriff's Office says it will take some time to formally identify that body found inside of the car. Live in Volusia County, Haley Crumble, home, Fresh 2 News.